Hello, my name is Ryan Fisher. Today, I'm going to teach you about the cost volume profit analysis for a company, otherwise known as CVP. Um, CVP is, is used to determine how changes in cost and volume affect the company's operating net income and income. So in performing this analysis, there are a few assumptions that we need to make. Uh, these are as followed. The sales price per unit is constant. The variable costs per unit are constant. Total fixed costs are constant. Everything is produced and sold. Costs are only affected because of activity changes. And if the company sells more than one product, they're sold in the same mix, but we're not going to deal with that today. Um, a big calculation in CVP analysis that we need to figure out how to do is the contribution margin and the contribution margin ratio. ratio. And... Uh, We'll just take a random company, for example, and say that we have this much sales variable costs and this is what they're sold at per unit and what the variable costs are per unit. So um, the uh, equation for contribution margin, we want to take our sales and we want to subtract it by our variable costs. So this would be the sales minus variable cost. And that would equal up to 300,000. And we can also do that with per unit if we want to see that. So per unit, it would just be the same thing. So we would take three minus one. And per unit, that would be a dollar and twenty cents. So that is our contribution margin. And to figure out the ratio for this, we would do this equation. It would be the contribution margin. Uh, divided by the sales and that's we would get a percent so it would just be this our contribution margin minus the sales and now would equal 40 percent and we can actually do the same thing per unit so it would just be and that would equal 40% as well. So that, now that we know that, we can put our contribution margin over here. $300,000. Now, um, this can actually be used to help us find the break-even point. Uh, the break-even point is whenever the uh, level of sales where the net income is equal to zero. So, um, to figure this out, that would mean that our fixed cost would equal 300000 So we can put that down for our break-even point. And also to prove that, we can use uh, two equations. Uh, we can use the total fixed cost divided by the co contribution marginal ratio, or we can do just the variable cost plus the fixed cost would equal the uh, break even. So put that up there.
so the So one equation for this is the total fixed cost divided by the uh, contribution margin ratio. And so that would be 300,000 divided by 40%. And that would equal to 750,000. So that means that we would have to get 750,000 sales to break even. And uh, another way to actually do this is the variable cost plus the fixed cost. So, variable cost. And uh, that would be... As you can see, okay, so after we find out this information, I've created a graph so we can better understand uh, the CVP and analyze it visually. So the first thing is, this right here is our revenue line, and this right here is our variable cost line. So whenever these two meet, that creates a break-even point. And as we can see, we would need to sell 250,000 units and that would give us a revenue of $750,000, and that's our break even. So as we take a look at this, we can realize anywhere above this break even point would be called our profit area, and anywhere below that break even point right there would be our loss area. So as we take a look at this and we think in terms of a company, obviously we want to be in the profit area where we're making money. So next I'll go into uh, targeted income and uh, I'll show you a few uh, equations where we can figure out how much quick explanation on targeted income. So say this company wants to make $60,000 of income for the year. Uh, first we get our equation and it's the required sales in dollars. Um, is equal to the fixed cost plus the targeted income all divided by the contribution margin ratio and as we fill in those spots we get three hundred thousand plus sixty thousand dollars as our targeted income and we divide that by forty percent which is our contribution margin ratio and after doing that and putting it all in the calculator we would get nine hundred thousand dollars as our uh, required sales to uh, meet our targeted income of six sixty thousand dollars and we can also do the same thing for units so it's the same equation just per unit and as we put this into our calculator we get three hundred thousand units that need to be sold that year to meet uh, our targeted income now, of course, this does not take into account the uh, taxes. So because this is a company, we need to uh, take into account the taxes. So all we would do to this formula is we just add income taxes to the formula. I would just use I IT for short. We can do it to both equations. And after we add that, we'll just say that the income taxes is 40% for the year. So... IT is $400,000 if the income tax rate is at 40%. So after we add that, uh, if we put it into our calculator, we would get 
this would change to one million dollars and this would change to three hundred thirty three thousand three hundred thirty three units and uh so obviously the uh income tax rate would affect this we'd have to sell a lot more units in order to meet our targeted income so uh now i'll give you a brief uh review of the uh targeted income statement okay so as you can see i have created an income statement for the targeted income for the following year first we have to uh get the sales that would be one million dollars the uh, variable cost would be six hundred thousand dollars and to get the contribution margin earlier as we saw you have to take the sales and subtract it by the variable cost and that give us four hundred thousand dollars um, the fixed cost would still be, uh, to break even, would be $300,000. So that would give us our income before taxes if we subtract the contribution margin minus the fixed cost. And that is $100,000. Um, after income taxes, which we have to take into account because of this company, at 40% uh, income tax rate, that would give us $40,000 in income taxes. And we subtract these two to get our net income, which would be $60,000. Uh, so I hope uh, you learned a bit more about cost volume profit analysis, otherwise known as CVP today. And uh, thank you for your time.